here. What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if your name is Drake, things are getting worse and worse for you. Y'all, just when I think Drake couldn't sink any lower, he did. Y'all, where do we start? One, Drake is out there being father of an effing year in a video that surfaced. I'll put it on the screen if I remember. It's him looking like he's taking Adonis for a chauffeured ride. And he's more worried about holding on to his grape drink than actually taking care of his kid. Why is that so shocking? Because a lot of people are saying what is in Drake's cup looks like L-E-A-N. Right? Now, listen, y'all know I, I don't be in the street. I just be looking at the window, paying attention to what's going to I actually don't know what Lean's looks like, but people that swear they know, know what it looked like is saying that is what's in the cup. Now, do we know what Drake's drinking? No. Does it look like he is more concerned about what is in that cup than taking care of his own kid? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, let's get into that video because it defies logic. On top of that, you know the mid songs that Drake dropped in his 100 gigabyte drop? Do you know that there's sample issues with blue, green, red? An indie artist is accusing him of stealing his bars off a of note base. And the 100 gig sample uh, has issues with the Jamaican producer. Drake is such a thief that even when he want to pop out and show everybody that he's the boss, you still are thieving, doing this, doing that. Drake is a rap. Kendrick actually delivered the final blow to his career. 50 Cent can say what he wants. Kendrick Lamar, Ja Rule, Ja Rule, Ja Ruled. I'm sorry, Kendrick Lamar, Ja Ruled Drake's career. And Drake can't come back from it. And the sad thing is, you know what the remedy for the Drake rest? Go away. I actually want one of your mid tracks to chart. So you can just get that hit so you can walk around with your cup acting like a 10 Texas thug. Go away, Drake. You got this. You literally. You guys, can we all just make a fake streaming chart and then somebody post Drake with number one so he can leave us in peace? He keeps posting with some mid stuff that is usually sampled wrong, stolen or whatever. I can't take this man and his go to your $15 million ranch. Go away and then maybe drop a hit, a hint, in, a hit in what? Drop a hit around March or April. Maybe you can have the song of the summer. But right now, you have solidified yourself that your career is over. What happened? Sexy Red, block. Known racist, Camilla. Gar Sexy Red, did you see that disgusting uh, lip gloss line she has named after STD? Is there something wrong with that girl? I never believed that somebody was put here to defile the, the 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 innocence of the youngins. But I believe that was sexy, right? There is a lip gloss that she has named Gurry and Creamy and all this. Oh, it's just disgusting. That's why her career is over. Anyway, um, I mean, maybe it's not over, but as we know it, the Lucian Grange way, you know, there are also the people that did Takashi 6 9 another known uh minstrel so shucking and jiving doing the thing anyway right sorry so where are we at oh yeah dragging drake so drake go away go away like pop out in april go stay on your ranch give us a chance to even miss you or most likely just be curious about what's that loser doing you still mimicking go practice a different like a, a eskimo accent go just go this is getting embarrassing. Sexy Red flopped. Your collab with No Embraces, Camilla Cabello, flopped. Your Super Soaker with Little Yachty, flopped. And you crashed out and took Little Yachty off the song, and he crashed out because his boo disowned him. Who else crashed out? Um, There was the EDM thing. No, you tried to, that flopped. You tried to be bought on stage with Fred Durst and Limp Biscuit. The crowd booed you. And I don't care what y'all say. Had that been Kendrick Lamar, they would have been like, yes, I'm so glad I got tickets. You keep taking L after L. Everything you dropped in 100 gigabytes, nothing has charted. It's all mid. It all sounds like 2016. Kendrick made us see you with new eyes. And unfortunately, the talent isn't there for you to come back. But what did Drake do? 
Look at this mess with Adonis. I thought this was crazy. Sipping lean in front of his kid. Again, we don't know if it's lean. We know Drake like this in cease and desist. But people on Twitter are saying it is. And it has a distinctive purple color. But look at this, right? Hold on. Look at this. First of all, Adonis, little French child, finally happy. He got his hair out of those tight braids. You know Adonis don't have the follicles for straight backs, Drake. Stop it, right? Look at him. Now, look at his little flunkies. Here you go. Your flunkies are standing in line. Well, Oreo machine of flunkies to give you. And you're so corny. You had to show in the camera that you got a thing of purple drink. You didn't even put your mess down to help your child get into the car. You had secured. Look at this. He's just like, my daddy, where my stuff? So happy you don't got to wear those straight backs. That's right. Don't listen. Be proud of who you are. Adonis, I'm sorry, dear dad. Is that, that man is your dad. Look at this. The security guy was like, get up, sit on the seat. Mad, he got to be like, how's the security playing daddy to your kid more than you go? You can't tell me there wasn't something precious in that cup. Who is getting into a stretch limo with grape juice and grape soda and holding on to it for dear life? And even you got all your friends in the thing. So like, here you go, here you go. Really? Adonis don't want any. Nobody's doing. Again, he literally showed us that he is a Karen to his heart. You even got to have wine o'clock to deal with your kids like all the other soccer moms at the park. All right. All right. Listen, poor Adonis. Honestly, what, what do y'all think it is? People said that it's not. Some people said it is. People said it was that distinct color. Um, listen, again, it's weird. Listen. Anyway, listen, someone said, Dominic Corny said on Twitter, someone said Drake secured the lean instead of securing his son's car seat. At this point, Chris should let Drake the water, but couldn't make him drinks when it comes to parenting. Mr. Ain't Going said, how's that different from watching your dad drink whiskey? Sir, you want to know how lean is different from watching your dad drink some whiskey? I don't know. How is that different? Can you tell me? Listen, SG said, because it looks like soda and can murk a child quicker than whiskey, I'm guessing. Brawlick Brain said, lean is closer to coca than to whiskey. Uh, Guido, from, uh, Guido from PR said, whiskey compared to heroin? I don't know. Get a job, you bum said. Kid could easily take a few sips and pass away from this and wouldn't spit it out. Whiskey, the kid would just spit out and wouldn't die of swallow. A pet said because lean is an opioid derived from the same active ingredient as hair rot. Like, listen, again, I get it. All these glazers. Listen, Dabo said lean looks and smells like a soft drink. Taste is off, but a kid wouldn't know it's harmful unless they know what it is. No child is sniffing or taking a sip of whiskey and not feeling that tongue get stomped on. Both irresponsible, but leaving lean around a kid is worse, worse, worse. Again, the drink glazers are looking for any excuse. I will say one thing. I'm glad those mopos don't got money because this is the life they will be living. Anyway, let's get into how Drake had fallen off. Um, he's accused of stealing the no face bars by an indie artist. It sounds like he did. Now, some people are saying the indie artist used AI. I don't know. We're going to have to wait to see because that's the thing, how far Drake has fallen. And now people are like, you stealing everything. Probably they're going to accuse him of stealing a Ronald McDonald beat from the hamburger. Hip hop uh, uh, RX said, Sam Moore wrote, Drake runs into sample clearance issues over Jamaican producer with a 100 gig song. How are you trying to beat the colonizer things and you taking songs from people? Anyway, they said his 100 gigs EP has been hit with a sample clearance issue leading to the removal of blue and green red from streaming services. Drake has spent the last few weeks treating fans to various outtakes. That's an interesting way to put it. Unreleased material and behind the scene footage from throughout his career. And nobody cares, but is now potentially run into some legal issues. Blue, Green, Red, which was released on streaming last month after initially being shared on Instagram, allegedly samples dancehall artist Tiger's 1991 hit, When, without permission of the musician and its producer, Cleveland Clevy Brown. Now, Drake's and Drake's label are releasing these lyrics. It's so messed up to me that they tried to X them out. 
They said his publishers called on Friday and said they were seeking clearance for when, but they did not send the song. We can't clear a song without hearing it. But Drake went ahead and leaked it before. The record company blocked Drake's release and then went ahead and released the song over the weekend without us giving any clearance because they did this before the fact that can mean problems. They used the melody just in a section and it was repeated twice. So this is a clear infringement. I would sue Drake. You, he just doesn't care. He just takes, this also lets me know that little Yachty crashed out over Drake. Because if you don't know, the same thing happened to Super Soaker, where the guy was like, well, just don't curse. I'm Christian. And Drake and little Yachty was like, we still going to release it. The fact that Drake did that twice. Yeah, Drake, you're the problem. Um, They say blue, green, red has since been removed from those streaming services uh, with circadian rhythm, repla replacing it on Drake's 100 gigs EP. Clevy, who's half the duo, duo Steely and Clevy, is already in a separate copyright, copyright battle with the Toronto rapper and various other artists over claims that Drake's number one hit, One Dance, stole elements of his 1989 fish market. One thing I'll say about that thief, Drake, he consistent. He likes to steal from the same people over and over and over. Anyway, they said another recent Drake release, his long-awaited Benny the Butcher collaboration in Buffalo Freestyle, has also re was also recently removed from streaming services without explanation. You know why I think all these things are being removed from streaming service? Because they're all flopping and Drake probably wants an excuse for why it's not charting. The song was released four years after being leaked, but it's taken... But it was taken down the same day it dropped as part of Benny's surprise three-track Buffalo Bitch Volume 1. The Griselda rapper previously expressed his frustration over the song not being released during a chat with Joe Biden last year. He said, I'm mad. I'm not going to lie. I was so mad. It's an effing Drake record. It was surely my biggest record and the record's just sitting in my pocket. He said, the biggest artist in the world, so I understand his release schedule might be hectic. And he might have people that be like, we can't drop that right now because we're doing this. I understand that he's the name, but he represents a lot of people that he works with and he moves affect a lot of people. So I understand that part. Tell you something. Drake is once a lame, always a lame. So let me get this straight. You stealing people's tracks without permission, but when people want to use their life's work that you're on, you tell them, no, y'all listen, you can't make this mess up. You can't make this mess up. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Drake is a mess. Y'all think that was lean in the cup? Y'all know I already do. Baby, you think that was a lace? That's, and that's another thing I do want to say. Drake uh, did never put the camera on him because I bet you his lace was like lifting up or the bolt hold or like whatever. And he was going to get a new fresh laid down. Y'all still can't convince me that Drake don't got a lace front. Anyway, also, y'all, if you want to hear more about the Diddy case and Little Rod, don't forget I did an amazing live where I actually interviewed Little Rod. He's one of the male accusers suing Diddy, the only male accuser right now suing Diddy, and also Natanya Rubin. Go ahead and check that out. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.